a series of short uh, interviews with artists and musicians living in the San Francisco Bay Area and beyond. Uh, today I am speaking with Tom McDonald, who will be performing at the Outsound New Music Summit on July 21st in San Francisco at the Community Music Center. So uh, thanks for seeing me today and talking with me about, uh, about your music and uh, what you do sonically. So uh, I'll just start out with a real simple basic question here. Uh, what is uh, one of your most memorable early influences that sparked uh, your desire to play music? Well, I was actually forced to play music as oh, a really? child, so okay. uh, that was one of my earliest memorable experiences of playing oh. music. Okay. But, um, I, well, but, there were, but there were many sparks along the way. I mean, I was always curious. I remember getting inside the piano when I was a kid. But when I reached uh, the age of 13, then uh, it really became my own. Music became mine as opposed to something that I was forced to do. Well, what, what was it at, the, at age 13 that then turned the, the tide from the proverbial gun to your head to I'm, now I want to do this? Well, uh, actually it was because I got arthritis in my knees and I couldn't play sports anymore. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. All right. So one negative led to another negative which created a positive. Oh, how interesting. Okay. All right. So, okay, so it was a medical reason then that, that brought you to the <laughs> piano, which I find very interesting because no one's ever said that to me, actually. You know? right. And that's not in any of your biographical information that I've read. Yeah, I know. I never yeah. felt comfortable enough with it. Anyway, well, thank you very I much for, for my for medical le problems letting as a child. But I understand. It's true. I had arthritis in, in both of my knees. Yeah. Uh, but I also spent a lot of time uh, alone as a child, and, um, and you know, your mind... Uh, is, has to do something with itself, right? And so, uh, I had the facility as a pianist, and uh, so that's um, where my creativity naturally went. So your uh, your parents uh, played music as well. Then? Yeah. Since you said you were forced, I'm assuming they were. Yeah, my mom was a piano teacher, very strict, a great teacher though, mm -hmm. and very supportive too. Very, ultimately, a very positive thing. My father was a pianist who played in um, in piano bars for years, with people okay. smoking and drinking around him and singing old songs. Oh, so he was also a vocalist, a singer? Yeah, well. yeah, good singer, just okay. like old-timey stuff. Right, okay, okay, but you, you also sing too, I, I, I hear. Yeah, but in a pretty different way. Pretty different way, it's not, not quite, not the same, but is there any, any inspiration from either your mother or your father or of your early experiences that actually, that weren't for us, that actually uh, helped to develop your uh, musical uh, creative process? No. No? Okay. No. <laughs> I, yeah, that's great. I mean, uh, no, I mean, everything from my mother was forced, okay. but in the end, I'm really glad for it. Right. Which doesn't make any sense, you know, it's like I, I appreciate the, the prison guard for locking my door every night. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense, but no, she wasn't a prison guard anyway, yeah. but, but it, you know, it was forced. Right. And, uh, and my father uh, actually didn't know... Uh, so well growing up so but when we did get together uh, we'd usually be together around the piano and so I got to know all that the music golden era of music you know, right which is incredible music so there was a lot of listening and you mm -hmm. had a chance to hear a lot of music in the yeah the realms of the interest that your parents were having when you were growing yeah. up so so then you you started playing piano of your own volition and over time, there must have been some other influences that were your own that, mm -hmm. that uh, were part of that. Can you tell me more about like what maybe people or uh, elements had have inspired your, your musical process? Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, I remember from a very, I mean, when I was a kid, I was very curious like kids are, and I had pianos around. So, I mean, <clears throat> I, um, I remember very early uh, being curious what it would sound like if I closed my eyes and uh, and placed my hands on the piano without thinking about what I was going to play. You know? um, and uh, when I was uh, 11, 12, 13, I started uh, improvising and composing. Um, and you know, I don't know exactly why and what type of influences I would have had uh, back then, except for uh, through recordings and then also experiences I had at the Kumbwa Jazz Center in Santa Cruz where my sister worked for many years, and so I heard really some of the most amazing, crazy jazz players uh, of 
of the century play there on Monday nights. You know, right. you know that series that yes. they have. Right. But they still have. And um, uh, so I know that was uh, important to me. I've, I was also studying um, uh, piano with uh, with teachers, but not and there was nobody really um, uh, in my personal life that um, that you know gave me that key. Right, to unlock doors. So, so you're saying there wasn't really that. There wasn't necessarily one moment that. Right. There was that turn point. It was. Yeah, I don't sounds think so. like it was more I think I was always a weird kid. Right. And I had weird ideas, mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately, I put them into something that was positive, as opposed to something that could. That right. was, you know, but not all the time. You know, well, sure. <laughs> of course, <laughs> a lot of weird, a lot of things that weren't so positive too. Yeah. But, um, and then uh, when I went to college, though. So, then I definitely had very specific people who were uh, really important to me and um, that uh, encouraged me to uh, see, see music more and more as, as my own, uh, but also uh, within, a, within the connection of uh, many others that had come before and were doing music at the time still. Right. So, um, uh, so some of those were like Hafez Modir Sadeh, okay. um, Dwight Cannon, this is all at San Jose State. Uh, Alan Strange, who I studied composition with there, and, and, and fellow students as well. Okay, cool. Well, uh, so it's it, it's interesting to me that uh, I've, I've a lot, talked to a lot of artists, and a lot of times they'll they'll say, "Well, this was the artist that you know, I saw this artist, and that really pushed me mm -hmm. to do this for real." But it sounds like it came more organically over time, maybe because your experience as an early child was different mm -hmm. than a lot of other folks were. You were Maybe. Like Ravi Shankar, the story, the story about him being chained mm -hmm. to his to a room where he had to play. That, that's the myth I heard. I don't know yeah. if that's true or not, but I've heard that. So maybe that experience is d different developments. So mm -hmm. It's very interesting. So do you have any um, non-musical influences that have also uh, had a, Yeah, the an womb on and the birth canal. Yeah. Okay. Sure, and oxygen. Right. And... Uh, this concept of death that's going to happen at some point, possibly right. to me, yeah. but that I know has happened to others. I've seen it. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm actually. I think I'm more influenced by non-musical yeah. things than musical ultimately. Right. Uh, and, and part of that is um, maybe uh, uh, on purpose, somewhat. Uh, I I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant to be too influenced by sure. uh, musicians. Particular and particularly pianists. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, you know, I find influence through from birds and uh, nuclear war, and, and which hasn't happened quite yet. No, that's that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, so I mean, you know, conversations I have with people and dreams and, and uh, uh, orange juice. Okay. And uh, that's visual art, uh, sculpture art, yeah, and other forms of art that maybe you certainly. Yeah, and science, right, and sport too, and sport. Mm -hmm. Any particular sport, and just in general? Yeah, sport in general. I mean the yeah. um, the act the, of sport. Uh, the act of sport of of um, using um, the body, of training the body, of uh, um, of how it works uh, with gravity and mm -hmm. uh, within certain types of confines. Because I think 